The islands are coming with clips, glamour, and full support. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Why? I am so The Battleground, the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Friday, February 20th, showtime, 9 p.m. Fantastic, Fantastic Friday night. Get ready for the most prestigious event at Carnival, the B-Mobile International Soccer Monarch and the Playway Groovy Soccer Monarch Competition 2009. Meet and mingle with the stars from all over the world. Will you be there? Yes, we will. Why? I am Soka. Get your tickets early. Soka on a 2009. The biggest celebration in the world I've ever seen. I am Soka. Temple family, I'm Lydia Patel, and you're tuned into Tempo News, giving you an up close and personal look at what's going on throughout the Caribbean. The Netherlands, Antilles, and Jamaica are negotiating a tax treaty in Curacao. The treaty will include an avoidance of double taxation as well as a prevention of fiscal evasion. According to the Finance Minister Alex Rosaria, the treaty will further strengthen economic and friendly ties with Jamaica and is an important step in cross-border trade. Further details of the treaty have not been released as yet. Turks and Caicos has appointed a new health minister for the first quarter of 2009. Premier Michael Misik asked Governor Gordon Wetherell to revoke the health minister position from Lillian Boyce. Boyce was informed of her termination after she received a phone call and a text message from Premier Misik. What initiated the situation was the fact that Boyce has strong views against what Premier Misik and his party represents for the Turks and Caicos. She has also been instrumental in several efforts to have Premier Mystic removed as leader. The island of Dominica is soon going to have a cricket academy. The announcement was made by the West Indies Cricket Board CEO Donald Peters. The goal of the academy is to have better opportunities and enhance the potential of our Caribbean athletes. However, according to Peters, despite Dominica constructing an academy, in the past 10 years, Dominica has not been the strongest performing island. He hopes that the establishment of the academy will bring the players to both regional and international levels. That's it for your Tempo News Update, powered by the Caribbean World News Network. I'm Lydia Patel. I'll see you next time.